Hi everyone. So I've got a long overdue Dollar Tree haul. So this is um, a collective haul um, starting from probably sometime in December up until today. I've just been putting off filming it. I've been lazy when it comes to filming it. So stuff has been piling up. So I'm going to go ahead and film now. So let's get started. So some of the stuff you probably already see because um, yeah, you know, a couple of holidays have already passed. So let's get started. So I've got these Valentine stickers, which I ended up not using when I was doing some Valentine crafts, but you know, I, I don't, I will still use them. I'll still craft some Valentine stuff. I just was a little busy this month. So yeah, so I've got these and now I'm thinking it's like, I probably have some other stuff that are still in the other room um, that I need to go get. <laughs> I've got these, um, they're called tippies. And as you can see, they are, um, what do you call this? They are Snoopy related. Um, I know I have more here. Hold on. Here we go. So we've got some different uh, Snoopy ones. I've got regular Snoopy, Joe Cool, and um, World War II uh, pilot Snoopy. Um, I've also got one of these fidget poppers, which I always pick up stuff to give to my nieces and nephews. I've got some Barbie stuff here. I just forgot to give that to my niece. She was just here earlier today, so I need to give her these Dreamtopia unicorns because she's really big on unicorns right now. Actually, let me pull that out there. Okay. Oh, here's another one. I also have my old um, sunglasses pouch from Dollar Tree is like wearing down. It's actually wearing down here. It's tearing up at these edges because of the metal that's in there. So when you press like against, when you press that to open it, um, I've probably had that pouch now for three or four years. Yeah, and it's starting to cut through. I mean, it's already, you know, like clear, like cut through here. And now when I squeeze it, it kind of like hurts a little bit. So I'm going to replace it with this one. Um, I picked these up and now I kind of regret picking them up. I'm going to see if I can exchange them for some other stuff because the glitter is just a mess. I actually got those at the beginning of um, when they started putting out the, uh, what do you call it? The Valentine stuff last month. These are old because they've been sitting in my um, tray here. Uh, this is Christmas trim. Um, I think I've shown this before, the miniature version of Uno. Um, this is always good to have, eyelash glue. And I also have these um, two um, containers, which I've been holding everything in. Okay, so let's see what other bags I got here. Um, I know there's other stuff. In fact, I know I'm missing some stuff because uh, I had been looking for it and I just don't know where I put them. You know how when you have like tons of bags all over the place? Okay, so I have here more of those little Uno game packs. I always buy like, I always buy them in pairs because I keep one for myself and one for my nieces. Um, so I have the Dos Go, and then I have this Lowdown. I've never played this one. I've never actually played the Dos, but I'm gonna give, them, give these to them because they're gonna be going on spring break. Uh, they'll be going to Universal Studios for the first time next month, and this should keep them occupied in the car or, you know, in the hotel room when they're not out and about. I did pick up these two containers. I have a new Razcog that's actually right next to me, so I bought these to kind of like um, help organize some of the stuff in there. Okay. And then, yeah, I probably should go get it. I found two graphic novels, which was pretty interesting. Um, I found this one, Doom Patrol. Now, I never read uh, Doom Patrol growing up. Um, I only had heard about it maybe one time. And um, of course, now there's a TV series out. So 
I mean, this is only a dollar, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and read it and then probably pass it on to my, um, my brother, who's also into comic books. Um, I'm not sure if I showed these before. So I have actually a total of four, but I'm only gonna show two because they're so big. So these are pen uh, containers, pen or pencil containers. I have a lot of fountain pens now and I definitely want to store them in a better container. So these, I like these because of the fact that they are um, angled like that. So I picked up four and I'm going to hot them, hot glue them together so then that way um, it's easier to store everything together. So I got those and then after that big ice storm that we had and then we didn't have power for a couple of days, I got more of these. These are a lifesaver. Now, I have one. I picked up like several of these and gave them to my parents, to my nieces and nephews. And these are great because one, they run on uh, AA. You need three of them and you can just pick up some from Dollar Tree also when you get these. Two, they're LED and they're bright. They, the battery life on these lasts a long time. Um, I was actually using this more as a flashlight than, um, but I did use them for like when I was reading in the dark. But they're compact. They have like a gooseneck. Um, and as you can see, these are really good if you um, have like an emergency kit for, you know, like for storms, for earthquake. Um, these are great to store in there. You know, as you can see, how I'm not going to pull it apart too much because I want to put it back in the box. And um, yeah. I plan on sending um, several of these in a bullock buying box to the Philippines so my um, cousins can use them because it is earthquake prone over there. And sometimes they do get what they call brownouts, blackouts. So, <clears throat> put these away. Uh, now, I am not a fan of incandescent lighting one because I don't I don't like warm lighting because it's just not bright enough for me um, when it comes to like reading or whatnot so I prefer using daylight um, bulbs and Dollar Tree does sell these um, LED bulbs I've already started using them not in here but you know just some small lamps that we have around the house and um, these are great I mean they're only a dollar you know I did end up getting a hundred watt this is soft white I don't know where I'm gonna put this um, but you know still good to have on hand I have a sonic cherry limeade um, mix now I order cherry limeade from Sonic um, I was ordering it up until about maybe last month and I started getting like uh, heartburn because I didn't realize until I got to the bottom of the drink that they had put like freaking three limes in there and that's way too much for a cherry limeade so I stopped ordering that and just you know went with got Diet Coke because I was afraid I was going to end up with that again and I just didn't want to have to sit through work you know with a sour stomach and heartburn so I picked up more of these snacks these are my favorite I absolutely love the harvest snaps in the tomato basil flavor so I keep these um, at my desk when I, you know, feel a little bit, I guess, as the British say, peckish. <laughs> so, I bought four of those. Um, let's see what else I got here. Like I said, I picked up some stuff during, when they, were, they put out the Valentine stuff. So I have the felt flowers, which are really pretty. I did pick up two of the red and only one of these. Um, I mean, they're just great to have on hand. You never know when you might need to decorate with some flowers. Uh, oh, okay. So I'm probably going to regret buying these, but I can always return them. Now I had originally bought these before and I have no fucking idea where they are. So I bought a, a one for my, my niece and one for me, but I, I had actually bought an, another lip scrub um, sugar scrub but I don't know where like I said I don't know where it is and I didn't want to have to buy another one of those I'm fine with just the brush um, one of my nieces 
you know, she's always got dry lips. I don't know what it is. Me and my sister just go crazy every time we see her lips are like peeling and stuff. So I'm gonna see if um, I can get her to use this instead and maybe that will help with her dry lips situation. It doesn't matter if it's winter or summer. She's always got dry lips. Um, I found this at a different Dollar Tree. It's a three pack of the re um, reusable makeup rounding, removing rounding. So it, it's just like the cloth, you know, that you see people um, use to remove makeup, only that it's like in a, a puff like form. And um, I now kind of wish I had bought another one to give to one of my friends. So I got one of those. I got this mirror a while back because um, it's good to have in my travel you know, bag. I've got several from Daiso, but I do like that this one is compact. So I'll keep that in there because I've got like two different um, like toiletry bags. One that is a small, small one and then the other one, which is a bigger one. So I just like the design. Okay, uh, I got some rubber bands here because for some reason we can never find rubber bands at work. So that's what that's for. I have here a spatula because I can never find a spatula when I need it in the kitchen. So that one's going downstairs. Okay. So I have some of these small batteries because I use it to uh, power the little tiny clock that I have on my desk um, by my computer here at home. Okay. So let me pull these out. Okay, I just found these today at Dollar Tree and I think I might go back and get more um, today, tomorrow, excuse me. So these are pocket mirrors. I was surprised to see these because they look pretty high quality, like in terms of the packaging. Look at how beautiful that is, right? So I already opened up one just to see what the, how the mirror looked. It's right here. So it's by VNA. Now that is like, I looked it up online. VNA is like a, I don't know, is it, oh, VNA, hello, Victoria and Albert. Um, I guess the museum or something like that because they had like a museum store. So these were probably one of the old products that they had before that they were selling. And I mean, look at that. So say hi to the camera there. <laughs> I mean, it's like a, it's like a faux leather feel to it. But they're beautiful. I love these prints. In fact, I believe the back of it tells you, well, I thought it did. Oh yeah, this one says garden, um, if I can get it, there we go. Can you see it? Garden wallpaper, uh, the name from 1860 to 1932. This one is double bow wallpaper, William Morris. So here's the design, there you go. And then we got this design here, it's so pretty. And this is, if you can focus, seaweed wallpaper. So we got these three pocket mirrors. Now I'm gonna start moving some stuff. Oh. It doesn't look really aesthetically pleasing here. So I'm gonna put that here. All right. And then to go with those wallpapers, they also have these hand lotion or hand cream. Okay. So they're matching. Okay. Same designs as the mirrors. So we have floral garden, wild forest, and um, peony and lily. I did open up the peony and lily and it smells really good and the quality is actually really nice. So I like these so much that I might go back and buy stock up because at work, I always wash my hands when I go to the bathroom and um, my hands dry out from this frequent hand washing. It's just a habit. So I actually have to use, you know, hand cream all the time and I go through hand cream really fast. Like I've been using the Dove um, Intensive, like in the tins that are from Dollar Tree. And um, I probably was going through a tin at least maybe once a month, 
I guess. I mean, I stocked up on a lot of that, but sometimes it's a little too oily. And because I'm handwriting, um, I'm writing on paper a lot, um, it tends to get on the paper and then my pen skips. So I've been trying to stay away from using that unless it's just early in the morning or, you know, before I leave work. But this stuff seems to absorb um, pretty well and it's not greasy. So I'm, I think I'm going to stick with that because I used to have a whole bunch of um, CeraVe hand lotion that Dollar Tree sold years ago and I literally wiped out uh, several of the Dollar Trees that were, you know, that were selling it. Like I had like a stockpile, of probably like 50 tubes. And now I'm actually down to two tubes. Can you believe that? So um, yeah, I need to start stockpiling all my hand lotion again. So there were another two, actually another, another three. Um, I don't know what company this is, but they had these. So this one's, oh, Yes Studio, Just Peachy, and this one is Peony, and I forgot what the other one was. It might have been Coconut, and I hate Coconut, so I didn't buy it. But um, they're the same size as the other ones, so I'm going to definitely see how these work out, and if they're good, I might go ahead and stock up on those also. Let's see. Just put those right there for now. And then we're getting down to, you know, I know I'm missing some other stuff don't know where it is. See, that's the problem when you have all those bags and you're waiting to film the haul. <laughs> okay, so I found this one also today. It is a matcha latte flavored lip smacker. I was just curious. I mean, it's not like I need more lip balm, but hey, anything matcha I'm a sucker for. So I picked that one up. And then I also had picked up this eye primer because I like to use it when I apply my um, brow powder. Um, so let's just see how it is. I mean, it's a matte finish and um, just a dollar. So hold on one second and let me go see if I can find the other stuff. I know I have like some other stuff, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so don't laugh. I found this for a dollar also. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, Green Lantern. <laughs> it's a, yeah, a graphic novel. And um, I mean, hey. I, you know, the film was okay. I had no problem with it. I know everybody always dogs it, so I got that. I did get some of these stickers because I heard they were dupes for like the ones over in at Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure. Actually, that reminds me. I need to go to Hobby Lobby because I, there's some uh, heart stickers that I got to get that's on clearance now. And I found this one. Really pretty. And then my nieces wanted me to get this because they wanted to watch it. Uh, this is also, it's an anime movie, I think. Um, I've never heard of it, Napping Princess. So, yeah, we're going to watch this one. The premise seemed pretty interesting. Okay. So, I found those, um, what do you call them? This is hand soap that, I don't know, we'll see. I might use this at work. Um, the prebiotic, it's the Tom's. Um, I forgot what people were saying. This is the fresh apple and the gentle lavender. It's supposed to be moisturizing, so we'll see. Maybe I'll use it here at home, I don't know. And then, what else did I get? Oh, I did get this. Um, I don't know if I've shown these before, these multi-purpose bandanas. I actually use this, um, when we had the ice storm because my neck was getting so cold and I have like really short hair, so like a pixie cut. So yeah, the back of my neck's always gonna get cold during the winter. So I got one of those and then I was intrigued by this right here. It's a dollar, it's a mini gel lamp um, to use with gel nail polish. I don't know. I don't know if it really works. I have to look at the um, reviews on this. Because I, I, I'm interested in trying out, you know, the gel nail polish. And then lastly, I also have another. And my battery died just when I was about to end it. So what I was saying was I have a bag here of my favorite uh, gummy lifesavers. Okay, so now I can go ahead and end the uh, video. All right, so that's my big haul from Dollar Tree um, from over the course of two and a half months. So now I can finally put all this stuff away.
but first I have to find the space to do it. Okay, so I hope everyone's having a great week, a great weekend, and I'll see you on the next haul. Bye-bye.